We've got something exciting today. For the first time ever, we're getting a real life look at the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. No more prototypes or renders. This is the actual device and not just one, but we have two videos to discuss. So let's dive right in and break down what we're seeing. In the first video, you can see the Pixel 9 Pro XL in action. That's right, it's a fully functional device, not just a prototype. The excitement is real because this is the moment we've all been waiting for, a hands-on look at Google's flagship phone in its final form. Moving on to the second video, let's talk design. The Pixel 9 Pro XL has undergone significant changes compared to its predecessor. The glossy sides, which were prone to attracting fingerprints, are gone. Instead, Google has opted for a sleek matte finish that not only looks stunning, but also feels premium. This is a smart move by Google, catering to users who prefer a cleaner look without the hassle of constant cleaning. But the design updates don't stop there. The camera module on the Pixel 9 Pro XL has also seen a revamp. It's more integrated into the body, giving it a cohesive and polished appearance. The overall design feels more refined and in line with what you'd expect from a flagship device in 2024. As if that wasn't enough, we'd also have some live hands-on photos of the Pixel 9 Pro XL, thanks to Twitter user Mystery Lupin. Google is struggling to keep a lid on the Pixel 9 series as leaks keep pouring in, and these photos give us an even better look at what this phone has to offer. Let's dive into the specs because there's a lot to unpack here. The Pixel 9 Pro XL is powered by Google's latest Tensor G4 chip, paired with the Titan M2 security processor. This combination promises not only top-notch performance, but also enhanced security, which has become increasingly important in today's digital age. With 16 gigabytes of RAM, multitasking should be a breeze, and the 120 gigabytes of storage, while solid, does leave us wondering if there will be higher storage options available at launch. Given Hubble's push towards AI and machine learning, this configuration seems built to handle everything you can throw at it. Now let's talk about that display. The Pixel 9 Pro XL comes with a 6.8 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2,992 x 1,344 pixels. But what really stands out is the brightness minus 3,000 nits. That's insanely bright, meaning you'll have no issues using this phone in direct sunlight. Whether you're watching videos, browsing the web, or playing games, this display is going to look gorgeous. Durability hasn't been overlooked either. The Pixel 9 Pro XL is built with Gorilla Glass Victus 2, which should make it more resistant to drops and scratches. It's clear that Google wants this phone to not only look good, but also st There you have it, the first real-life hands-on look at the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. From the revamped design to the powerhouse specs, this device is shaping up to be one of the most exciting releases of the year. Whether you're a longtime Pixel fan or someone considering making the switch, the Pixel 9 Pro XL looks like it's going to deliver in all the right areas. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. We've got more content coming your way and you won't want to miss it. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go U25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. 
China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.